That, or one of them. I'll get to that. Oish. Now from here, and I kill this guy and this guy. Yeah, excuse me, if he will let me. That blows up too fast. Can I jump over you? Please say I can. Yes. Yeah, boy! Wish I didn't have to sacrifice that. Or that. Alright, so far so good. Okay, cool. Oh, this makes things a lot easier. Eat it, suckers. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave that two box away though, because if I went for that, I would have just killed myself, because I would jump on it, but the invincibility will just break it, and then I'll just... Oh, nice! Yeah, screw you, level. Can I just blow this up? Yeah, yeah, eat it. Wow, okay, that was actually not too bad. Once I didn't take damage, that was easy. You had to tap into your inner Entom 64. And for those who don't get that joke, I'm not explaining that. Not. Okay, this level, again, is where I accidentally get Platinums half the time, so we'll see if that happens here. My Nerefra. Okay, we're already on off for a bad start. Good to see. Uh, let's just kill this guy. Oh, come on. Where's the thing? Alright. Do, 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 no, thanks. No! Boy. Jump, you idiot, that was too slow. I can still do this. Whatever. Like, as soon as that guy starts like flaying his sword around or scimitar or whatever, it just becomes like a nightmare to like you can't even even trying to attack him from from the back is like it still hurts you it seems. And that sucked. You can jump over him, but still. Do, 
This is also one of my favourite themes. Like, level theme and what the just music themes. <sighs> Dang it. I mess. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm, st I'm still living. Still making free. Making. Going free. Okay. If I didn't blow myself up, that would have been amazing. No, stop. No! How did I not get hit there? Okay, I'm not complaining. Okay, that was too close. I'm not going to get hit by that. Alright, let's see if we get a platinum or if I fall. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Whatever. I usually get a platinum, but either way. Final main level for the relics, and then we have to do all the gems here. Alright. Okay, that was kind of slow. Funny how this is probably one of the easier levels. Yeah, it's the last main level. Oh, come on, you're slowing me down. Well, last time we did this, we didn't have running shoes, so it's kind of affected the, uh... booga ba 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 I've had did that twice, and I can't see Jackal! That went better than I thought it would. <laughs> Just by jumping around like a goof. Oh gosh! Nearly crap myself. through that stage. Just need three more relics. And they're arguably the hardest ones. Actually, no, no, no. Only one of them is hard. Scratch that. Yeah. Only one of them is hard. Only got a handful of platinums, but oh well. Again, this is not a full platinum run, and I don't plan on ever doing that, so, yeah. Alright, now I just need to get all the boxes here. And then, yeah. Okay. Eat it. <laughs> Skillage! Come on. Really? Yeah, this level, this is like the only level where it requires you 
really to use the fruit bazooka because well, look at this you, 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 there's no way you're gonna get those these boxes without the shooter you can probably jump over there but why would you risk that <laughs> and also don't break that box because you're gonna have to go back here later so I'm not even I'm just gonna leave them for now You know, I'm, I'm not going to hit you. Oh gosh, I thought you were, you were going to go to the right. My bad. Alright, I'm going to have to be extra careful. Gonna activate that TNT in any way. I'll do that later. Not gonna hit you either. Okay, where's the green gem? Oh, it's somewhere here, I think. Yes. Slide! Okay. Interesting little uh, color palette going on here. Okay. This is a little bit difficult! The conveyor belt changes everything. Wow, we're all the way back here. Okay. Come on, we can do this. Yes. And then I accident <laughs> almost screwed up there. Oh, that would have been bad. Uh, not gonna take any chances, so you die, you die. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And that activates a few boxes. Like, two. <laughs> but thankfully, unlike future Frenzy, we go back to this area, so we don't have to do some any of the stupid backtracking. Which is a godsend. Now, why we didn't want to blow up the TNT there is because there was a box underneath the steel crates, and we need the TNT to be able to do it. Otherwise, we're boned. Ah, now we don't have to worry. It's all good in the hood now. Yep, oh, there's two boxes down there, okay. So, activated three boxes instead of just two. Still not a lot, but. Okay. Alright, cool. Yes. Now we can go on with a level level like normal. <sighs> it's so cool doing that. Also I like how it gives you it gives you the one pretty as you shoot at them. Even though all the other attacks like make them fly away. Funny how that works. I mean we're shooting one per fruit to get one per fruit. Go to the that path and get okay. I'm not even gonna chance that. I can do that, but I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take those chances today. I just want to get the German leave. And 
Provided I don't screw up royally somehow, we should be able to do that. Alright, cool. Ooh! <laughs> that was scary. Yes! Alright. Nicely. Nicely acquired. Alright, cool. Oh, okay. This is gonna be quick and easy. Now, I'm hoping that it doesn't activate Cortex, because otherwise this, this is gonna kinda seem a little bit weird. Because there's still gems to get in the um, secret warp room. I'm hoping it does. Okay, w we'll just see. But either way, still got 99 lives. <laughs> Man, that sucked. Uh, let's go. Let's go. 99 lives again. There we go. Nice. I thought I died. <laughs> Get the book, uh, get the masks. It's gonna cancel the invincibility, but basically, this is just this is exactly how it worked in Crash 2. How there was a color gem path in the final warp room, and you had to have all five color gems, and to be able to go through all these. All right. First one has a bunch of these spotlight things to avoid. I shouldn't have jumped, that was kind of. could have been bad. Now, I don't think these are that challenging, honestly. Like, I can do the one in Crash 2 pretty, uh, pretty easily as well, but I'd say. This is one of those instances where rare instances where I'd agree with the general opinion that the Crash 2 version is harder than this. But like, I I think the main thing I the main thing is just the fact that it's 3D instead of 2D for the most part and there's a lot more leeway, leeway in that where you can just have a lot more space to move around the obstacles and stuff like this where it's just these nothing but these enemies, like it's not really a not really a challenge to be honest. It's still th this part looks nice though, I will say. But yeah, that part it, it's nowhere near as bad as hard as uh, Crash 2's one. Crash 2's like super colored colored gem path or whatever you want to call it. And with that, I think we only have the secret warp room to deal with. So, let's not waste any more time and go and do it. Now with this, I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna go get all the relics first. I'm gonna get the gem in this, then get the relic here, and then go to the next level and then keep going like that. Alright, because I want to make it so I get all the gold relics and what and whatnot, and and get Cortex's thing to appear at the same time, because otherwise I'm gonna have to go into Cortex, exit, exit the boss, so every level becomes a 
accessible again. And then go and finish things up. And I don't want to do that because it's kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah, unlike unlike the other level, this is actually a like a regular um, jet ski level with a re main pathway. Like my friend Jerry confuses this as the same. These are the two at the same level when they aren't. They look, they have the same, like, it's, they're both, like, like a sunset kind of time, and visually they look the same, so, I don't blame them for that, but, yeah, these are two different levels, so don't confuse them. It's still more more open space. It's more spacious than the other levels, but it's not as like you know, go anywhere as the last one we did. Speaking of which, the, these levels, like, think of this game is that there's this these levels, this, this thing, the motorcycle levels, and then there's the um. What should I call it? The, the 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 jet ski levels, where there's like four different ver four different level theme levels of them, and like each of those, like I think Sphinx even has maybe has five. Like there's one in Warp Room two, there's one in Warp Room three, there's two in Warp Room four. Yeah, I think there's four. No, yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll look back for sure later, but, um, yeah, like, I think they should have, like, cut some of the, like, made it so there was only three of each of those, and, like, gave another level theme a chance in the spotlight, because four, four of these is a bit of each of these is a bit, like, much. Considering there's only, like, 30 levels in the whole game. Eh, yeah, well, nothing's, nothing's worse than how many levels had snow and crash too. Like some of this stuff is similar to the other level as well, so... A nice little volcano. Okay. Very similar elements. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same, like, general area. It's just like a different section of it. Dang it. There's a lot of boxes here though. What is the level with, uh, cra crash level with the, with the most boxes? Actually, that's an interesting question. I'd like to know. Nice. Alright, we're almost done. Okay. Alright, cool. Nice. Where you going? Alright. Oh, 
let's see how the time attack goes. Is it really for... Do I even need to really... Should I really even bother with that? It's even faster to go over there. No. Oh, well, well then. Yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. Speaking of, uh, like, just thinking about it, I think the waves are like pre, like set to have a predetermined like, uh, like, well, what you might call it, like a route or like a, you know what I'm trying to say, like, um. I'm bad at I, I I'm bad at this, but no, I swear they the ways have a specific like pattern that like it's like always gonna be the same. Where it's like okay at this time period the ways are gonna be like this so you can get a super boost, and at this time they're gonna slow you down or just. Not help. I, I I don't know how to explain this very well, but I'm hoping I'm kind of getting having you get the idea. I could I don't know. Probably not. I'm doing having a doing a really bad job at explaining this. I won't really blame you if you don't understand what I mean. But either way. All of the boxes. Bruh, if I mess it up just because of that ending. Okay, now for the worst level in the game. Bar none. Worst level in the series. Okay, let's get this over with. Area 50 freaking 1. Okay. This is without a doubt the worst game. The worst. The worst level in the whole series. Like, it's a dark level. That's the first strike. And. It just. Like, just trying to get the box gem in here is just more painful than it needs to because you have to kind of inch your way to get all these boxes and it just speaks for itself. It's just annoying to play. Getting the gold can just kiss my rear and just, you can barely see anything ahead of you and just memorizing all this to get a good enough time is just more trouble than it's really worth and like if you miss a box by doing this you have to do the whole thing again ay 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 you really don't hit any boost pads and let's just like this Okay, okay, slow down, slow down, please. Are you... It's better to not go ahead of anyone because it gives. It could give them a chance to like bonk you out of the way or something and catch up. And you don't want that to happen. We're just, we're just getting the box, Jen. We don't. 
don't care about getting a good time. Do I need to do this? It's stuff like that. Like, hey, when well, you don't know if you need to do that or not. Okay. Music's alright, at least. Sometimes they're near those boost pads, so that's why I go slow near them. Like this. I don't want to hit the boost pads at all, though. It's going to throw me off. Alright, cool. Uh, I don't know if I need that. Okay, maybe not. I'm hoping there wasn't a box, box up there. And I lost him, so I'm gonna have to take this slower now. Can you tell this level sucks? Wait, like, going through the level at like two, three miles per hour is not fun. I wonder if the guys can, UFOs can lap me. That'll be funny. I don't want to miss that. <coughs> we should be near the end, so. Should, yep, box. Just missed those. Cool. Arguably the worst part is done. Well, actually, no, the gold relic is almost like just as bad. Still, though. Okay, we're gonna get around 145. Let's keep that in mind. Or maybe. 149. I, I don't know like what which ones are what what 